What's up, y'all? Yeah. Whiskey Willie in the house once again. Yeah. Shout. Uh, today we're going to be doing Rebel Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Straight. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen this one before. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for some snide remarks from you about the name here. No. No, we'll no. get those in the comments. Uh, you know, from, okay. from that coalition, please. Trust me, that whiskey is the least racist thing happening this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I was thinking uh, different when he said straight. Well, I wasn't thinking about race. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to wear that fabled shirt again this week, but <laughs> oh, this whiskey's been around here since 1849. Damn. Yeah. It is a Kentucky straight bourbon, so, you know, it checks all the marks where it's, you know, limestone, Kentucky limestone, filtered water, new charred white white oak barrels, you know, all the things that make it. Charred white oak barrels. All the things that make Damn. it a bourbon. Say, say that, try saying that shit twice <laughs> in a row. I, I, I could hardly say it right the first time. <laughs> That's what I was like, damn. That's a mouthful. What do they do with all the old girls? They sell them to people that don't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, guys. I, like I said, I think probably in the very first episode that all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey can be bourbon. Yeah, That's right. I'm saying that. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. They can't. You can't reuse a barrel, and if, if you reuse the barrel, then it's automatically er, not bourbon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're they're, they're bougie. <laughs> they're the, yeah. It's the bougie. Pinky, pinky out. Yeah. Hey, I always drink with my pinky out. Okay, don't judge people. Like class. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a difference between having class and being bougie. Yeah. Right. This is definitely puree. I'm like the uh, <laughs> puree whiskey. <laughs> Hey, if, if you watch Beer of the Week you, and you're smart, you can probably get of, that. If they watch, of Whatever. course they watch Beer yeah. of the Week. Yeah, go back and watch Beer Whatever. of the Week again, and you'll, you'll understand the pure Whatever. difference. <laughs> All right. So scary, is, this, is this what we've got here, or did you slip us something different? <laughs> well, you know. I don't see anything fizzing in here, so <laughs> unfortunately, to my disgust, there are no roofies in here. Why is it sparkling, man? I wish. Well, mm. Cheers, fellas. It smells like whiskey. Cheers. Yeah. Some clank. Cheers to you. Is it clank? Clank. And clank. Some clank. Through a clank. woman's clank. honor. Clank. We can't cross the streams. Yeah, you can't cross streams. Okay. So. <sighs> Woo! Ha! Damn. That's got some burn to it. Smooth with burn. That's a. That's an interesting that's combo. Pretty fucking sweet. Yeah. yeah. The burn hits first before everything else. And then it smooths out, and it comes back again. It hits, yeah, the front of your tongue. Mm-hmm. And usually it's in the back. Yep. This is a, all it up completely in front. skips the back of your mouth. It goes tongue, and then back to your nose. Yeah. God, that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I bet, is, is due to the wheat in it. This that's one, a, this that's a different show. Oh, that. there goes my wheat allergies. <laughs> like the wheat. Yeah, I don't know. His allergies is acting up. Right. But, yeah, this... <laughs> Shane got the allergies this week too. Yeah, for, for all those ASMR people. Well, Shane's Italian. We know his, sno- his nose is sniffing like that. It's all the spaghetti sauce caught in my uh, mustache. Right. Garlic. It's, it's the garlic. garlic. Basil. Too much garlic. Too much garlic. <clears throat> That's a spicy <laughs> meatball. <laughs> it's an officer. This is not weed. It's cardamom. What are you doing? It's a fucking oregano. <laughs> Come on, it's rosemary. Come on. It's uh, that shit we got from fucking Malaysia. <laughs> it's like a fucking guy can't have a bag of cilantro yeah. in this city. What, what, the what hell? are you talking about? Oh, this is asshole? just this is just beef jerky that's in a little vial. It looks. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, God, don't remind me of that. Oh, beef jerky in a vial. Yep. Uh, so this hey. particular this particular whiskey has won awards. It's a won a platinum medal award in the 2018. Sip awards. Ooh, it's a sip. They, they, they. Um, And then also a a double gold medal in 2016, the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. Yeah, that's that's the same competition we talked about a few weeks ago with the uh, suspect pineapple jalapeno. Oh yeah, that was super suspect. It was very suspect. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) that's that's the competition that they won best flavored whiskey. Oh well, shit. So. (laughs) Yeah, world renowned. In yeah, San fish Francisco. in the barrel. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> San Francisco. <laughs> right, you bunch Man. of fucks. Yeah, <laughs> stepping over homeless people and be like, "I'm sipping whiskey over here." Hey, what are you doing? I'm sipping here. <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, go, oh, hey, go hey, sleep somewhere oh. else. Well, one thing that makes this uh, 
bourbon a little different than most is the mash bill is corn, malt, and wheat instead of instead of rye. A lot of them have rye this in man it. Is trying to but kill this, me. This has the wheat. I got this one especially for D. It's got it. corn <laughs> and wheat in it. <laughs> Jesus, why don't, you just, why don't you just bound and gag me and throw me in the middle of Nebraska? It's, it's, a, it's a fucking allergy puree. Jeez, so it's yeah. Chex Mix. <laughs> it's yeah. Chex I'm Mix trying, in a bottle. I'm pure trying to, emergency I'm trying to room. Pure, guy up. pure <laughs> emergency room. Pure emergency room. <laughs> So there, a guy by the name of William LaRue Weller revolutionized bourbon by making a wheat-based mash bill to replace the rye. Some people don't like to burn a rye or whatever reason. <laughs> and this, this is the same. Like, I'm just tripping on the guy's name. This sounds like a fake-ass name. <laughs> yeah, it's William actually... LaRue Weller. <laughs> yeah, right. Where well, are you they from? Went on, they went on to, to co-found the Stitzel, Stitzel Weller Distillery, which I actually went to and... and yeah, and down in Kentucky. That's dope. You should, yeah. you should steal that and just call yourself Willie Weller. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Willie Weller? Cause he's whiskey Willie Weller. That dude makes some of the most sought after whiskeys <laughs> yeah. on the planet. Yeah. Yeah, that, it's, that, that was quite the operation. Now that place doesn't actually distill when I went there and so they don't actually distill. They just store and age stuff there for, for different. Barrel house it? Yeah, for Blame different. Blame on COVID. Oh, not people. Okay. They, have, they have a little small still that they still run to do experimental stuff on, which is pretty cool, but we didn't, we weren't. We need, we need to get into that experimental still and yeah. see what y'all are cooking up in there. I will definitely look into that in my next trip to Kentucky. But, yeah, that mash bill that he came up with with the wheat is what these uh, Rebel whiskey has been using ever since 1849 when it starts. And it says deceptively smooth. That's probably due to the water or defiant defiantly smooth right. wheated bourbon yeah that's probably due to the wheat bardstown kentucky that <laughs> sounds like i could just get called an n-word for passing through <laughs> right. yeah possibly you just yeah, step yeah, right. Right. Whoop, whoop. that might not right. be an n-word that <laughs> might be in hard rville <laughs> yeah hard rville kentucky right there <laughs> so we do it here boy in our hard R town. Mean, I stopped to get gas, sir. <laughs> it's like you look across the street, you see nothing. Look down the street, nothing. You step across. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You fit in the description, boy. <laughs> you take another step. He's running. <laughs> Stop resisting. <laughs> this, uh, it used to be produced out of the Heaven Hills distillery the, at the Bernheim distillery in Louisville, which we talked about when I did it's my review. It's pronounced Lowell. 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 <laughs> we got to work on getting the food out of there. Which uh, we talked about when I did the Evan Williams review. That's, yep. that's where they're from. That shit was good. I like Evan Williams. Yeah, it is. And it's cheap, just like this stuff, man. I found that at Safeway. Spur, like, last minute, because I thought we were rushed to do some things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and for like $20 at the Safeway, I found that bottle of whiskey. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, like, yeah and it's right a there. bargain. There you go. Man. But uh, they have since, uh, it's now owned by Luxco and is distilled and aged at their new Lux Row Distillery in Bardstown. Where, Bardstown, Kentucky. Where, where D probably shouldn't visit. <laughs> with our See, well, you'd be all right with us. We'll <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll look out for you. Exactly. If I, right. show, if, I show up, if I show up in an SUV with these motherfuckers and Richard in the car, yeah. I might get a police escort to wherever we're going. This is all, we got this big-ass tree right over here. Y'all got, but, hell, we can just dump them right here under the freeway. We'll Anybody going to give we'll a get shit. get you one of them black hats, and he's our driver, and they will leave you. Yeah, wow. We'll just, <laughs> What's worse? God damn. What's worse? Tricky racist into thinking I'm being led to my death or being masqueraded right. as a driver. Oh god. It's to save your life though. by everybody. He's, like, like he doubles as a security. He's got a gun! Right, yeah. <laughs> Is he security? Stop! You guys go into the grocery store to get beer and whiskey. I'm outside. Some little kid just walks up. Watch it, boy. Fuck, man. I'll hand you my gun when you go into the store. Can you hold this for me? (laughs) No! Not at all! No! Serve respect. I'm an international podcast superstar on YouTube. Yeah. I'm the only one with a valid license. Down in Bargeville, they don't have good Wi Fi. You mean uh, hard Ardsville? Uh, hard Ardsville. <laughs> it's not racism. I'm just Barge has a bunch of R's. It's <laughs> terrible. Bargeville. Bargeville. <laughs> so by pirates or racists? It's hard to tell at this point. There's too many hard R's on there. 
but apparently, but you can't get good Mexican food. That's just Kentucky. Just sounds fucked all the way around. Well, you're not there uh, for the whiskey. You ain't got no sorry. business being there. Like they're In order to have good Mexican food, you cheese. need to have Mexicans, and they don't do that around there. So you're gonna have to make some choices. You can go down to the Piggly Wiggly, <laughs> and get yourself some fucking some some banquet TV dinners or something. I don't know. <laughs> Tudor's Biscuit World. Um, no, that's not that's not in Kentucky. I don't think it is. Do you think they have the banquet ones with the the apple puree? The apple puree in the puree. Yeah, man. Yep. They don't have they don't have brownies in the middle anymore because those are black. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even do chocolate over here. It says chocolate hard yeah. cookie on it instead of brownie on the box. Every every Wendy's in Bardstown, Kentucky, they all they have are vanilla frosties. <laughs> It's really not that bad, y'all. I've been there. We're we're offending all the black folk in Kentucky right now. All All seven of them. All seven of them. All seven seven of them them that don't go to college there. It's a fucking hate mail. Damn, bro. (laughs) We're going to need to put the spell check on it for any hate mail coming from Kentucky. It's going to take two weeks to decipher what they're trying to say. Right. Yeah. Just send it in through video message. Yeah. Absolutely. Excellent. Better translate. Yes. No, we love you guys in Kentucky. Hi, Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> what up, other Michael? Rachel's going to be the main one in the comments talking shit. He's got yeah, sons absolutely. of bitches. <laughs> yes. yeah. Fuck you. Kentucky's sons a nice dark. place. He's a very nice people over here. Yeah. <laughs> She'd be upset yeah. if she found out that we were eating Taco Bell earlier tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I check my messages, she's called me the hard R in Facebook Messenger at least twice. <laughs> you Bargeville. She's like, oh, <laughs> Dee's coming to visit. Let's take a trip to Hard Ardsville. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, in weeks to come, we will be branching out and leaving the old good old state of Kentucky. Yeah, nice. We'll be we'll be looking at international whiskeys and tequilas. talking shit about everybody. That way, I don't have to watch yeah. it on my shoulder anymore. Yeah. Get the fuck out of Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> well, You're with us. Did you say tequila? Yeah, did you say tequila? Yeah, we'll, we'll, oh, tequila. Man, hell yeah. definitely tequila. We'll be doing plenty of tequilas. Oh, you know man. how Whiskey Willie loves his tequila. Yeah, mm. Tequila don't Timmy. Mm. Don't let the name fool you. I do not discriminate. No. That's that Mexican whiskey. Just a cool little catchy name. <laughs> yeah, just uh, yeah. almost rhymed. <laughs> almost rhymed. I'm gonna ask. Yeah. Alliteration is good. Yeah. We'll, we'll get some vodkas in there and channel all the Russians. Mm. Vodka yeah. maybe, oh. maybe break a chair over somebody's back or something. The fucking this Russian tap water, yeah. yeah. I'm Shane pretty sure Shane has shit. a track suit from his days uh, in the fucking oh, Italian yeah, mafia. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> no, the Italians don't wear that. That's the, the track suit mafia. Like, <laughs> I'll bring in an AK and sit here, you know, yeah, Croatian style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, cult, that's bringing cultural back appropriation. The backyard, wrestling, the backyard wrestling return has inspired me to break some things. Yeah. Yep. Pl- there's plenty of shit around here. That we you can sure you're not about. a Buffalo Bills fan? I mean, yeah, I like their fans. He I absolutely like fans. was a Buffalo's Bill fan about two weeks ago. Buffalo's uh-huh. Bill. Oh, do you want to go all the way back? Josh Allen. Was it? 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 Was my brother over here on the end was like, "Hey, you want to come over and watch the Raiders with me?" Like two ha- years ago. No, it was the beginning of this past season. No, I don't no, I'm nope. still nope. This is exactly I remember, I remember it clearly. This happening. I it came was over. Not this season. I came over thinking it was it, we weren't playing the Chiefs. It wasn't gonna be no rivalry. It was just gonna be my brother uh-huh. drinking beers and watching the Raiders play the Bills. This whole time, this fucking Judas. Mm-hmm. Rooted for the Bills. No. Oh, and then it, well, I did I not root for root, the Bills. I'm, I rooted for a Bill. Uh huh. And his yeah. name was Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs is on my on my on my, it's on my fantasy team. team. And, and well, Can you, you know, just root for him. Stealing from you. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's okay to sell out everything. I'm not that rooting I love for the Bills. I'm just rooting for Stephon Diggs. My fantasy team. He's on my fantasy team. <laughs> How fantasy many times team. did I also root for Josh Jacobs and Darren Waller? The fantasy team is far more important than the love of my brother. No. And that particular day, Stephon Diggs proceeded to get off in the Raiders' ass. So this fucker was cheering and hooting and hollering the whole goddamn time. Look, I was what down by fuck? like 29 as the only player I had left. Yeah. Well, it's inexcusable. <laughs> and I won that way. Yeah, well, he's so. got big cheerleader it's, energy. Yeah, it's well, so, inexcusable. All like you I fantasy said, leaguers understand. They do. They understand. And I did not have Stefan Diggs on any of my teams this previous year. So this is over a year old. No. no, no. It was the beginning of this no. season, I swear. Fuck that. It, it's, Big it's wrong. It's been established. Then you were just making things up to root against me then. <laughs> so I hate you even more. I never rooted against you this season. Except for when we kicked your ass twice. No. Lies. All lies. Uh, <laughs> calling our mother. 
Wow, I feel like we're we're well, going to leave this on a cliffhanger right. and actually I'm going to I'm going to put the screenshots up here for you. Cuz right, I think right here, uh, right here. It's I gonna think you guys did play Bum, you know. Bum, was like the second or third it was the very beginning of the season. It was like second or third game of the season. I'm gonna, I'll I'm show just, you all I'm three gonna, of my fantasy football say, teams. I've seen not one of them had Stefan Diggs this year. I've seen personally firsthand your fucking Judas fucking ass ways. And personally I felt like when I stole Calamari. I think I think that you need to be branded and have to wear a fucking t-shirt. Listen. Or something to wear a sign around your neck. I'm gonna fucking contact my boy Harris Sanko. Logan Harris. Harris Sanko at gmail.com. Ooh. I'm gonna call him on the telephone, 253 820 3002, and I'm gonna tell him how much of a bastard ass you yeah. are. Every he knows. football Judas season, sign for every him. football he season, we get you a brand new yeah. shirt that says, I'm a big fat you, fucking you can, Judas. You can start to make it up to me by telling us about what's going on at Com- Comics The Gathering. Oh, yeah, their five year anniversary coming up. Oh, my God. They've got the most insane deals going on. You might see them here. You might see a link here that's going to take you to our Facebook page where you'll see the event where you can go in and show support to these people as well. I was, and, to, I was told by a certain someone that if you uh, go into Comics the Gathering between now and March 19th, you spend $20. For every $20 you spend, that's you, get right. you get one a raffle ticket, ticket into the raffle. Yep. And, and apparently, uh, word on the street is the if you bring that raffle ticket for that raffle ticket. <laughs> well, hold on, uh, we ain't getting that far yet. Shh, don't tell nobody. No. Word on the streets is if you bring that raffle ticket behind the dumpster, you might find a good damn deal for that raffle ticket. <laughs> good damn Daniel. <laughs> and if you get pictures of said uh, <laughs> good damn deal, <laughs> I will buy you a PS Five. <laughs> he will take. He will take your puree. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he will he, he will turn that puree into puree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'll take all that puree. <laughs> Hell yeah! If you don't want if you don't win anything in the raffle though, and you do want to feel like a winner, head on down to thirty one oh nine Sixth Avenue in Tacoma and check out our friends over at the fucking Hippie House. Make sure and tell them the AXE podcast sent you. They have accessories and powwow, all kinds of fun stuffs for all your fucking budgets and all your powwow needs. So make sure and check them out. And they're doing amazing deals all the fucking time. Stuff as low as five, ten dollars, all the way up to whatever you want to spend. So check them out. Thirty one oh nine six Ave, the fucking hippie house. And and drop our name. You might you might you get, might get told that they don't know what the fuck you're talking. You about. might get a free bag. <laughs> you might get a sticker. You might Whoa, get. Whoa, they giving out free might, bags in this motherfucker. Well, what know, kind of free bags? Are free bags of sticker. I mean, those are eight yeah. cents in Washington. <laughs> And they do international yeah, shipping now too. Yes, so. international shipping. It's international baby. A little pricey, but hey. Yeah, there you go. For all you people out there. Don't forget to hashtag your hashtags. Hashtag your hashtags. Like, share, and subscribe. Very good.